Hi boys and girls, Miss Kubera here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy 3D Funko Pop character. So I'm sure most of you know Funko Pops are really fun little plastic characters that have really big heads and really tiny bodies and they're little figurines that you can, um, you know, put on your dresser, play with, and they're, they're really, really cool. I have a Bob Ross Funko Pop it is at school, I don't have it with me, but I'm sure a lot of you remember seeing it in the classroom um, that Miss Land and Miss Swatsworth gave me, which I absolutely love. So I thought it'd be fun to make that today. So all you need to make your own Funko Pop character are a couple things. You need a piece of paper, and it can be small paper because Funko Pops are small characters, and you need something to draw with. I'm gonna draw with Sharpie, but you can draw in pencil, whatever you're most comfortable with. You need a pair of scissors, you need something to color with. I have markers, but you know, crayons, colored pencils, anything you have. And we're going to need a toilet paper tube. And then this green paper is just my messy mat because I'm using Sharpie. I don't want it to bleed through onto my table. So for an example, um, this is a character that I created. I made her up, which I thought is fun. She's like a little superhero that um, can fly. She has really fun wings, fun colors. And so essentially what you're going to do is come up with your own Funko Pop character and color it, cut it out, and then I just added a little piece of tape to the back and you're going to tape it or glue it to a toilet paper tube. And then it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but you'll be able to stand it up and it will sit on your dresser or a countertop or you can kind of you know, play with them. So it's fun because it makes it 3D. So you can draw any Funko Pop character that you want. It can be a character from your favorite book or movie, um, a superhero, or you can make up your own character. You could also Funko Pop yourself, which would be really cool, um, and make it like a self-portrait. So I am going to start, I'm just going to do a really basic outline of a Funko Pop and then you are going to add all the details that you want. So I'm going to start with Sharpie, but like I said, you can absolutely do it in pencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is the head of the Funko Pop is kind of like a rounded rectangle. So I'm going to start with kind of like a curved top. And the head is really oversized. That's the cool part about this. It's really big. So I'm starting with my head shape. And then I'm going to add the eyes. The eyes are always really far apart. And just small round circles. Now if you're adding sunglasses or like a mask or something, you don't have to worry about the eyes. Um, and then I'm going to add a little highlight in the corner and color it in. Next, I'm going to add a little nose. And I'm not going to add a mouth to, your, to my Funko Pop, but if you want to, you absolutely can. And then I'm going to add eyebrows. And that's my basic head shape. So from here, you can add hair or a hat or, you know, any other details. If you have a character that's wearing glasses, you can add glasses, sunglasses, anything like that. But this is our basic head shape. And then the key with the body is just making it very small. So I'm just going to do like a long sleeve shirt. So an arm like that. And long sleeve because we want we want the body to be small in proportion to the head because that's what makes it a Funko Pop and then I'm just gonna add pants so I'm doing a really really basic character but like I said this is just kind of like an outline so from here you can add a costume or you can have it wearing what you're wearing right now, any details like that. So once I finish with all my details, then I'm just going to grab my markers and add the color. 
And after I color, I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out and add the piece of taper glue and then stick it right to my toilet paper tube. And then I have this really fun Funko Pop character. So I hope you give it a try. Um, and if you do, and if you wanna send me a picture, I would love to see it. You can post it in Google Classroom or you can email it to me. And I hope you have a lot of fun making a Funko Pop.